We've just seen some examples of business documents, such as check butts, receipts, invoices, memos, etc. And it's important to note that the design of those documents can vary from business to business. They may be generated by the computer system used by that particular business. They may be done manually. They could be purchased from a stationery shop. They might be purpose designed and produced to reflect the individual nature of a particular business. So the design can vary, but what doesn't vary is that they all represent the evidence or the proof or the verification that the actual transaction occurred. Documents provide the proof of the financial transaction. And that's important because stakeholders, these are the people who are interested in the performance of the business, they want to rely on the information in the three major reports. They want to rely on the data in the cash flow statement, they want to rely on the data in the income statement, and they want to rely on the data in the balance sheet. And they can rely on that data if the business can trace back the data in those reports to the original documents. Documents provide the evidence or the proof that the transaction actually occurred. So when we actually produce the, the, the major reports, the stakeholders can rely on the information contained in the reports. They are underpinned by the documentary evidence. Here are the major documents, check butts, invoices, credit notes, bank statements, internet documents, cash register rolls, receipts. There are many others, but they all provide documentary evidence or proof or verification that the transaction actually occurred and it means that the stakeholders can rely on the information contained in the three major reports, the cash flow statement, the income statement, and the balance sheet. Those three reports are more reliable because of the evidence provided by the documentation.